will be reading Natural Resources and Workers on page 12 through 15 in the text for closed reading, Resources and Their Impact. So as I'm starting to read this, I'm going to realize this is too small and I can't read it. So I'm going to look here how to zoom in and I'm going to come up to my little magnifying glass. I'm going to come up to 100% and that's much better for me. Let's take a look on slide number three to see what have affected California's farm workers, so I don't think we found any like that. Two states of natural resources that have created jobs. Oh, well, now we're talking about jobs, and farm workers are they have a job. And grown industries are California and Texas. Agriculture or farming is a major industry that generates around $35 billion a year in California. Businesses that work with these farms also generate billions of dollars. Texas, like California, has a major industry that is based on a natural resource, oil. The oil industry in Texas has created jobs and businesses. Texas remains in the top 10 areas in the production of oil worldwide. Speaking many workers. So I'm not sure. Let's check again. What event of California farm workers? So we're talking about Texas and oil, so we're not Early workers in California. In the 1700s, Spanish priests in California start missions, which functioned as both religious and farm workers. The Spanish introduced many crops and irrigation systems. As a result, the agriculture industry was born in California new for farm labor. So, labor is another word for people working or work. Um, Labor began. Father Juniper Sierra founded the first mission in San Diego in 1769. The Spanish priests established farms near the mission where Native Americans were forced to work the fields under poor conditions. The missions also set up Native American settlements close to the farms, which supervised their workers as they tried to convert them to Christianity. As a result, Native American culture and way of life was disruptive. Over time, many Native Americans grew angry because of the peace they received under the Spanish rule. They faced several, several rebellions. Let's we'll check again at that question. What does have to tell these farm workers? So, what we're talking here about the Spanish setting up the missions and having the Native Americans work there, these are some of the first farm workers in California. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a shape here because this is a pretty important key detail. So I'm going to get myself a star and I'm going to put a star here so that you know there is something important there. All right, let's take a look at the next page. California farm workers in the 19th century. In the 1800s, European Americans began moving west to California. Gold discovered in California in 1848, and in 1849, the rest of gold began. In 1850, California became the third state in the developing nation. As the population in California grew, so did the need for food. As a result, the agriculture industry continued to grow. Among those who came for gold, 
and a state to farm more Chinese immigrants. So this is another way that helped the farm workers or have affected the farm workers when we were in and migrating into California due to the gold rush that affected the need for farm workers. to help build the transcontinental railroad. When it was completed in 1869, workers flocked to California. They joined already established Chinese farming communities. There was another event that affected the workers with the completion of transcontinental railroad. We're working there and now their job is all done because the railroad is all done. So where did they go? What did they do? By the 1870s, the depression forced European American and Chinese workers to compete for work. In 1882, anti Chinese led to the Chinese Exclusion Act. Chinese people could not become U.S. citizens. No more Chinese immigrants could enter the United States. Instead, the United States increased the quotas or the numbers of Japanese and Filipino workers who, who then who could come to the United States. So that's another event that would affect the farm working is that Chinese immigrants were not, it was not easy for them to come and they were experiencing a lot of prejudice. So now they're the country was trying to focus on the Japanese and the Filipino workers for our farm. 20 years of hardship. By 1930, the Great Depression, a period of economic hardship that lasted from 1929 to the early 1940s, forced prices of farm goods to drop. That's really important. As a result, workers' wages dropped too. So there's another thing. So their wages are pay that's their paycheck. So if their wages are dropping and there's not a lot of money to, to pay them because the prices are set off, that affects the workers. Many European and American farmers fleeing severe droughts of the Midwest in the Dust Bowl began searching for jobs in California. So now we have more people coming in looking for these jobs. These workers moved from farm to farm for work. They were called migrant workers. To survive because there were too many migrant workers and not enough jobs. In the 1940s, World War II began. During those years, the U.S. government forced California's Japanese Americans into relocation camps, such as Manzanar, which is just up the road at 395 from us, just north of Long Island, deep in California's desert. They were forced into these camps because the United States would have war with. Japan and consider Japanese Americans as potential enemies. As a result, many Japanese Americans lost their homes and farming businesses taken by them. So that is another event that affects farmers. You can check out the time here. So when we're looking at this question again, what events have affected California's farm workers? There are many events, and I expect you to please move more than one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six different events that can be used. So I'm going to restate this question into my answer. What events have affected California's farm workers? Now there were, I found six key details in there, but we don't have to do all six. So we can say there were many events that affected I didn't click in the box. Try it again. There were many events that affected California's farm workers. So let's go ahead and name at least three. One event was. One event was. We're going to go back. We'll include that event on these points. Another event 
was a third event was this is your, these are some of the questions you on your writing questions 